Here I want to give you a very quick overview of how to import the source code from my sample projects into NetBeans if you want to use that as your CIDE. You'll start with File, New Project, and here you get a number of options, and the first option looks as though it should be the most promising, C, C++ with existing sources. In fact, I'm not going to recommend this. That's because it uses a make file, which is a file that's generated with lots of build information. And those make files can have commands, make commands in them, and hard-coded folder information, path information, that can cause all sorts of problems. So unless you're very familiar with make files and the way that NetBeans uses them, I don't recommend this option. I'm going to go for a simpler option, uh, which is just C, C++ application. And then I click Next, and I'll give it a name. I'm going to import my CD database. So I'll call my new project CD database. You can browse to a project location. I've got a directory in which I'm, I'm sorting all this out. I've just called it the test directory. And this will create the named project. It will create a folder for it under the test directory. So that's test, and then a subfolder, CD database. I don't want a main file. I don't want any source code files created at the moment, so I'm going to uncheck that. Uh, that looks all ready to go, so I'll click Finish. Now, this generates a simple empty project with no source code in it, so I now need to import some source code for use in this project. And to do that, I am going to right-click the main project node in the project's uh, pane over here and select Add Existing Item. And now I can browse to the folder containing the uh, source I want to import. Now, before I do that, I'm going to make one other change because I need, at the moment, to put some source code into this folder. The folder is a new folder, and I want to put the source code from my existing project. And that's all these uh, .c and .h files, the C source code and the header files. I'm going to copy those. Here I'm in Windows, so I just select them, press Control c and I'm going to put them into the folder that's just been created, my empty folder. There's no source code at the moment, so I'm just copying that in. So I've done this using Windows Explorer, whatever file manager you happen to be using on your operating system. That's what you need to do. So back into NetBeans. Um, let me do this again. So right-click, Add Existing Item. And this time, when it looks into the uh, folder, the folder it's created, you might have to browse to this folder if you're not already there. You can see it's just the folder that it's been created, CD database under the test folder. And now I select the files that I want, all the header and C source code files, click the select button, and they're added to the project up here. For neatness, I might want to put the C files under the source files uh, virtual folder. These are not actually folders on disk. They look like folders on disk. They are just virtual folders for, for tidying up your source code that uh, NetBeans uh, shows in the projects pane here. But it's neater to put the headers under the header files virtual folder and the C source files under here. Oh, one more thing I want to do is I want to run it in a standard uh, external terminal. So to do that, I am going to select uh, Project Properties. This pops up the Project Properties dialog box. I select Run, and I want the external terminal. Click OK, and now my project has been imported, and it's ready to run, so I'm building it. Hopefully there's going to be no problems. Here it's showing me that it's building all my code that I've imported in NetBeans, and eventually there's my external terminal. So this is the project that I imported, and I rebuilt it uh, now, so it's ready to run. So this is my database application. Enter CD name. Yeah. 
And you can see that I'm running it as before, so the program works. Let me uh, display the records and quit. Okay, so that simply is how to uh, import source code files into NetBeans. If you're using some other IDE, there's probably a similar way of doing it um, for, for the simple files that I provide with, with not very many uh, source code files. For the simple files I provide with this course, if you want to use NetBeans or some other IDE, that's, in my view, the easiest way to get them imported and ready to build.